Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and welcome to LifeSpot.com, where we prove ancient medical wisdom with modern science. And today, I want to talk to you about circadian medicine. And in fact, do we need to supplement with melatonin? And if so, who should do it and when? Now, the Nobel Prize recently was won by three American scientists on the science of circadian medicine. It is very clear that our disconnect to the light-dark cycle, staying up late with lights, uh, cell phone screens and tablet screens in our eyes at night have blocked our production of melatonin. Uh, staying indoors, eating at the wrong time has disturbed our circadian rhythm. So how do we get our circadian rhythms back? One of the strategies is to take a little melatonin as a circadian reset. Many people use melatonin only to help them go to sleep at night. And melatonin's job is to put you to sleep so it can then do its job, which is to reboot your microbiome, to support bone density, to protect you from blood sugar issues and cardiovascular issues and joint issues and a host of chronic health concerns. Because when you sleep, the melatonin, the most powerful antioxidant in your body, is starting to dig in and do its job and clean house, like the janitor cleaning the floors and the windows at night while everybody's sleeping. This is what melatonin is trying to do. As we age, we lose production of it. It's almost like if you reach that point where you're not of reproductive age any longer, Nature says, we're gonna get rid of you slowly but surely, and one way it does that is by calcifying your pineal gland and then you stop producing melatonin and we slowly wither and we die. Melatonin at night, vitamin D during the day, two very, very powerful hormones. Two, vitamin D is actually a hormone, not a vitamin. Um, one for daytime activity and one during the night to help rebuild and rejuvenate us and get us ready for the next day. So those are the, the rules. Now, who should take you know, melatonin supplementation? Definitely if you're a night worker and you're completely out of whack with your circadian rhythms or you're a jet lagger, you try, fly, fly a lot across a lot of time zones, definitely it's something you really wanna think about while you're in that time of your life, forcing the circadian clock to adapt and compensate and strain. You wanna think about melatonin supplementation. If you're just a late night person watching TV and you're sleeping in and you're up late and your circadian rhythms are off, why not do a, metal, a circadian medicine reset with three, for three months using a melatonin supplementation? If you're old like me, you're over 50 or 60 years old and you're starting to produce less melatonin, I highly recommend getting a melatonin test. We have a test kit. You take your, it's just a urine test kit and um, you do it right at home, and then you find out what your melatonin is and what your cortisol levels are, and you see if you have a, a, a depletion of your melatonin that you need to stay youthful and hack the aging process, but also maybe avoid the chronic degeneration that takes place oftentimes as we age. So those are the three reasons that I recommend people take melatonin. One, because you're just old. <laughs> number two, uh, to hack the aging process, right? Because you're just on the little old side. And number two, to, as a three month circadian reset. And number three, if you're really living a life against the grain and you have a circadian imbalance, late nights, uh, shift work, or traveling a lot. Now, what kind of melatonin is best? You go to the health food store, there's five, 10, 20 milligrams of melatonin supplements. I mean, that's for a horse. You know, and, and I, I don't think, and many people have difficulty with melatonin. They try it, didn't work. If you take too much of it, it actually wakes you up. So many people find melatonin being harmful because it's a, it's a, it wakes them up. Now, the first issue that I always thought about is the safety of melatonin. Is it a safe thing for us to be taking? I never liked hormones unless you have to do it because by definition, a hormone means it's gonna, it's gonna suppress the production of your own if you take that hormone. Well, melatonin doesn't do that. Melatonin does not suppress the production of your own. So it makes it sort of not a hormone. It's more of a molecule. In fact, it's a three billion year old molecule. Also, we always wonder about the safety of things. There's a thing called an LD50, which is a dose that will kill 50% of the people. Water has an LD50. Coffee has an LD50. Alcohol has an LD50. There is no LD50 for melatonin. It's sort of shocking, right? So, so it is really, really safe. And it's the only reason I would ever, ever consider talking about melatonin supplementation. But the fact that it is something that we lose as we age Circadian medicine is the Nobel Prize winning science. How do we reset ourselves? 
And if we're doing Schiffer, we know the damage there. Why not use this very safe supplement to reset you? So here's the deal. There's time released and there's instant or immediate release supplements that you can get. What I like between, and we have a melatonin supplement called liquid melatonin. One drop is 0.1 milligram and 30 drops is three milligrams. Most of the studies were done on three milligrams of immediate release. All the studies on bone density, and you go to my website at lifespot.com, type in, look and go to the circadian medicine section. There's over 30 articles on, on melatonin how to get it naturally, what foods have melatonin, how to do a circadian reset by going camping or doing it in your home with a no, light artific no artificial light weekend. Tons of information. But, and read all that. And then you might say, but I still feel like I need a little bit more of a reset. And that's when you say, okay, how do I do it? The dose that we need is usually very, very small, particularly if you're thinking of long-term hack the aging process melatonin support. You probably need a very, very little. What I find is the longer I take it, the less I need, which is really cool, which really to me proves we're not creating a dependency in any way. So one drop is 0.1 milligram. So what I always suggest, and I've got articles about this, is you start with a very small dose. Take one point one drop and maybe three drops and then five drops every for three or four nights and you build up and build up and you evaluate how do you feel in the morning how do you feel during the next day a lot of times you can overflow melatonin in the next day and feel sort of groggy if you take too much right a lot of time release which means that they're spread over the old night they last for 12 hours you take it at 10 o'clock at night you're still groggy at 10 o'clock in the morning which isn't good so we have a time release, which is a five milligram time release, which only lasts for six hours, which means that by the time you wake up, that melatonin is gone and you're not having that issue. So those are the two melatonin products that I like. One for a, for a, uh, a long-term hack the aging process, your pineal gland might be calcified, you've got a test, you're not getting the melatonin you need. What do we need to take? Maybe three drops a night before you go to bed, 0.3 milligrams. Maybe one milligram you might need, maximum three milligrams. Studies show if you take three milligrams for a year and a year and a half, that's where they show bone density changes and blood sugar related you know, issues, supporting changes of the microbiome. Tons of science you can read on my website. And those are sort of what I call therapeutic dosages. Um, if you're going to do three milligrams, a time release, we like five milligrams. You get one immediately of the milligram to get you to sleep. And then the other four are spread out between the six hours of sleep to give you really good sleep, but also give you that therapeutic benefit. So long-term, I like very small doses between, between one and 10 drops, between 0.1 and one milligram of melatonin. That's what I like long-term, really super safe. For the three month circadian reset, maybe three milligrams or possibly the, the uh, time release. Uh, I like either way in that department. For the uh, jet lag and for the night shift workers, that's where you have to really find out what dose works for you. It might be a very, very small dose. It might be a, very, a, a little bit of a bigger dose, depending on how much jet lag you have. Maybe with jet lag people, they use a bigger dose, you know, once every two or three months or once every month when they travel. But if you're working every night, you want to find the dose, in my mind, that's small enough to give you the sleep you need and the clarity and the wakefulness you need during the day. And that would be a melatonin reset. That said, on the flip side of that, you want to take your vitamin D when in the morning, when the sun rises. So if you're in the winter, as we're going into now, and you're thinking about a vitamin D supplement, take that in the morning with breakfast, take your melatonin at night. Short term, if you're looking for a reset for your circadian clock, long term, find the smallest dose possible, and then off you go. All this information and in the research is in the article associated with this video, so check that out. And also check out the circadian medicine uh, section on my website. There's, there's a, at least 30 articles there and a bunch of videos to learn more about this really, really important science, which is called circadian medicine. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John Duyard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox.
This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.